Hi friends. I've often stressed how important dreams are and how certain dreams have literally changed the direction of my life and been essential to um, understanding myself or realizing where I was lost and where I really needed help. And so in working with dreams, I've talked about how important it is to just ask yourself, if I hadn't had this dream, what would I not be conscious of? If you put that in the positive, it's, what is this dream making me conscious of? But there are other things you can do with a dream. Sometimes a dream is really long, and, and you don't even know where to start. And what I find is helpful is to try to visualize the dream like a tapestry. So you're, in a sense, getting a gestalt of the whole dream. Even though you told the dream in a progression, this happened and this happened and there was this and this and this and this and then the dream changed and this happened and that happened. Simply decide to where you feel most pulled emotionally, most aroused emotionally, and then go to that part of the dream, just to that part, and sit there for a while, just at that part. Let, let I call those specific parts uh, centers of gravity within the dream, centers of psycho-emotional gravity. They attract. And as you just look at that part of the dream, feel it and ask the question, so if I just focus on this part of the dream, what is it making me conscious of? What am I becoming aware of? And dwell on that for a little while and then move to a different center of gravity of the dream. And do the same thing. Remember that you don't want to necessarily overthink dreams. We know that uh, 30 seconds of REM activity when we're eyes are flittering and we're in the dream state, when someone is awakened from that REM activity, it, it t can take them four or five minutes to tell a dream. So apparently the dream was compressed. It, it happened in a much narrower time frame. And, it, and it's true that a picture is worth a thousand words. A sensation can communicate enormous amounts of things. And so go back into the dream and look at the sensation at different parts of the dream. What, what is this dream? What's the sensation it creates? Um, and then, then the dream starts to talk, talk to you, perhaps can start to help you see um, what it is that it wants you to, st to become conscious of. And another thing you can do in order to get a gestalt of a dream is just give it a name. I once had a dream came right before I was starting a piece of work I'd never done before, what I call my mentoring programs. This is about 25 years ago. And in this dream, I was greeting the people who were coming, and I was stark naked, except for a shirt. And I was actually moving my bowels. It was a short dream, not a long one. But when I woke up from that dream and I just sat there and felt into it, suddenly I just realized, oh my God, I feel so exposed. So exposed. And you know, when people arrived, instead of hiding and pretending that I was secure about what I was doing and where I was going, I just let myself feel the vulnerability of being so exposed. And that allowed the flow of energy, the flow of connection, the flow of relatedness to be very strong in the dream. So if I named that dream, I would call it, I feel so exposed. So see if you can find a name for your dream. And sometimes if it's the name, keep, t keep saying the name and then going into your body and feeling the sensation of what that name does. Feeling the sensation of that name. Because really that's what we do when we give the title to a book or a title to a film. We try to capture in a very, very short few words the essential energy that's going to be in that book or in that film. And likewise with a dream. Give it a name and then let your body spend some time, let your sensations spend some time 
experiencing what that name in relationship to the dream starts to make conscious in you. I hope it helps a little bit on your journey to awakening to the richness of the dream world. Thank you.